What is going on everybody and welcome back as Oliver Barton and the Rockies get ready to go through the month of May. Last month uh, we got four saves, blew one, um, and we threw eight innings so we weren't used a whole lot. We're sitting eight saves shy of 100. So there's that. Um, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and hop on into this. We'll get this loaded up and... Whatever our first appearance is, you guys will know it. Okay, so we're making our eighth appearance. It's the eighth inning. There's already two outs. Usually when this happens, we end up getting the hold because we get pinch hit for. Um, got a 2 nothing lead. So we'll see what happens here. Facing Corey Seager, who's 0 for 3 on the day. So there's strike one. There's strike two. And cut her outside here. And he's going to foul that one off. Bring it up. He's going to foul that off. That definitely didn't go where I wanted it to. The change up in. And speeds a little bit. Okay, so Dahl's going to run that down, and we're going to get out of the eighth. We'll see here if they want us to come in for the ninth. Does it look like we're due up? Yep, there it is. We're getting pinch hit for. End up going to end up getting the hold. Kind of disappointing. Looking for that save. Always nice to get the first game of but, oh well, what are you going to do, right? Hold one. I think that's our first hold of the year. To be honest. Alex Cobb. Pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. And, yeah, I don't think anybody picked up the save. So, we'll go ahead and we'll bring it back for the next one. And our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Oliver Barton oh. takes the ball now in inning number nine. Looking to ninth appearance, and we actually have a save situation. The ninth inning, not sure what the, what the score is. Hopefully we can bring down that ERA. That's a little bit high for a closer. Here's Jonathan Scope now. And these guys nope, are facing Johnny. 0 for 2 with two walks. You don't know what the score is. They string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. Can you get in there, Johnny? There we go. 5 to 1. One out. Runners on first and second, though. See if we can get a double play to end it real fast. Alright, we missed with that one. I think that was borderline, but what can you do? We can get, there we go. There we go. Three pitches, get the two outs, and that's it. Game, set, match. Well, that didn't take long. Comes in and gets the first battery faces to hit into a game-ending double play. That's oh, there's save number five. Nice save. Five to one, the final total in today's game. Justin Grimm earns his third win of the year. Yo, Justin. So that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan. Oh, all right, we'll bring you back. Matt Vaskirchen, you've been watching MLB Network. All right, so we skip over the series with the Mets and head right back in against the Dodgers. We're four and a half games behind them for first place. Currently sitting in second in the West. This is a tie ball game, if I remember right. It's not a save situation. Nope. So we just need to get three outs and get it into extra innings. 
that's a big fastball, obviously. And we're going to see this reliever. Ew. Come back with the fastball. The wind up and the 0 1. Get him to chase that one. It's 0 2. Not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Two things pitchers really love called strike threes and jamming hitters. Bring the cutter out here. That definitely isn't going where I wanted it. So we'll come back with the curveball. Gonna foul that one off. And another foul ball. That's a nice job of staying alive with two strikes. With the cutter. They won't chase. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. There we go. We're gonna get him to fly out here. There's one away. Corey Seager is going to come up one for four on the day. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Mm, just missed with that one. Back with the fastball. Going to hit that one hard. But our center fielder's right there. Yeah, Dahl got a good jump on that one. I don't even know who's up right now. Doc Peterson. All right, so there's ball one. Bring in the change up. There we go. Back with the fastball. And we've come inside a lot. Let's bring the cutter outside. He's going to foul it off. Alright, try the curveball. He won't chase. Alright, pray what? Fastball up and in. I think that's the, the best bet here. Alright, so that was a borderline call that the batter got. Two outs, full count. Men with the change up. He's going to line that in the left field for a base hit. So, all right. Now it looks like in that one is what it is. He represents the winning run. Let's see if they can get him home. And that'll bring in Rob Segedin. Rob Segedin, 0 for 3 on the day. He isn't sending any fans home happy. Here's the first pitch. All right, that one, that one went a little low. Back with the changeup. There we go, nice little check swing right to the first baseman. Desmond scoops it, goes to first. We're heading into the tenth, and that's going to be it for us because we're supposed to hit first. So we'll see. Oh no, they're gonna let me hit. At the plate, Oliver Barton. He'll be the one to That's not strange at all. The a right Guess they want me to go ahead and pitch the tenth as well. Figured they'd want somebody with a good bat to lead off the the extra innings here. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And okay, so that fastball is. Right on the corner high for strike one. Obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does. See if he gives us anything. All right, well, we made contact. I'm happy with that. I'm just happy with that. 
for another shot. Jason. Okay, so Jason Garcia is going to come up. We didn't score any runs. The game's still tied at four. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. And with the cutter. The 0 1. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. That one didn't come inside. Now we'll come inside with the fastball. Got him. Go sit down. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive. Be happy with that one. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Sure who we got next. So now it's Mark Canna. Mark Canna. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for Bruce. with that one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Only his second plate plate appearance. His first one he walked. Now I can't apparently hit the strike zone. In game one of this series, it sure doesn't hurt that you make the closer come in, and he threw a ton of pitches. It's possible he might not be available going forward. Yeah, we have thrown a lot of pitches, but we do have the stamina. That's for sure. Two and one now. Hitters count now. Here's the two. We're built to be a starting pitcher that got turned into a closer. All right, there we go. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Got him. In time to first, and there are two away. All right, so there's two outs. Uh, we barely got him, though. Christian Vasquez. Christian Vasquez. 246 on the year. Oh, that's his first plate appearance. Into the windup and the pitch. There we go. Bases are empty here with two men out. Men with the change up. And that finds the target. Nothing. That was a pretty pitch. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0-2 on this. Who I think will come in. Nice job. Cut her in. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Yeah, he's gonna hit that one to third. Throw on to first, and we are going. Oh, we'll see if um can get a run on the board. Nice to win one and gain some ground. Jimmy Garcia is coming up. Jimmy Garcia as he set to get the bottom of the 11th started. Still tied at four. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There we go. Right over the middle, knee high. Got to get us through this inning. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Been with the curveball. We're not inside. Into the windup. Outside. The pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Change the speed and location. Now we'll come up. Another O2 home. Up and in with the fastball, and you can go sit down. He ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with That's a beautiful that. pitch. You get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box, Robbie DiBiase. Robbie DiBiase. One for five with a home run on the day. One for five effort so far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And that change up makes him that was a beauty. A Bring the cutter outside. We haven't had any luck with doing that today, but I fastball. He's gonna foul it off. See if we can get him to chase a curveball below the zone. Two two count. We'll go with the cutter outside. Got him. You gotta sit down, DB Aussie. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game. Which yeah, is his you're not speed. getting on base. Right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Standing in now, Andrew, Andrew Tolles. I feel like 
We already faced him today. But getting the ground out right back to us on the first pitch, and that'll do it. I really don't think they're going to want us to come out for a, the fourth inning. Apparently they're going to because we're coming up to bat again. Uh, there's one out with runners on first and second, so they're probably looking for us to bunt. Here's the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Oh, that was a beauty. Just got out there and died. So the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Jordan Lyles. Okay. That's going to be it for us in this game. Game still tied. Dodgers end up walking that one off. Big Jock Peterson's the player of the game. Four for five on the day. Yeah, two runs, a home run, an RBI. Okay, so uh, we'll bring you back for the next one. This evening's game comes to an Oliver. All right, so the Rockies are on a huge losing streak. It's at like six or seven. We're coming in with the chance to preserve the the game for us to break the losing streak. We've went from four and a half games back to eight and a half. We're now sitting fourth in the West. Ready, See if we can Henry Sierra. get Henry out here and start out the ninth right. Sends that one out of play. Definitely wasn't the location I wanted. That wasn't the location I wanted either, but luckily he's fouled off both of them, and we got him at an 0-2 count. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. That one just out of our reach. Shortstop picks it up, and we get him at first. Salvador Perez, he's 0 for 4 today. That one definitely wasn't where I wanted it, but he's going to pop it up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll there we go. Away as they get their man here for the Two hour. away. Need to get one more out to break this losing streak. Digging in to try it again. Jed Jerko. It's been Jed Jerko. See if we can sh shut him down. Nobody else has been able to do it today. Oh, no, start him out with strike one. Yes, we'll do a uh, change up outside. I think that's what our next next bet is. And he's going to ground that. Shortstop's going to have to make a leaping throw, but we get him. There's the save. This was a nice, nice throw. Okay, so um, got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with. I don't know why they're that's coming up, but anyway, we'll bring you back. All right, so my bet on the previous one, I didn't realize that the Royals had the lead, not us. That's that's completely my fault. I just assumed it was a safe situation for us. They though. Today is save situation. Digging in once again. So Jose Martinez comes up. I believe we have a three-run lead, and this will be. We're still on that losing streak. So this will be to break the losing streak. 
That's a big fastball. Or him out with strike one. See this reliever throw it a lot. That one's not going anywhere where I wanted it to. One ball, one strike. Try the cutter. I'm to swing through that one. Too much for him there. One and two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to a hundred. If we can strike him out. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Yep, you can go sit down, Martinez. But it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have he is. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that first name. It's always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. First delivery to him on the way. Well, that one was low. It's 1-0. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. There we go. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. See here. Are empty, one man out. A change up out here. It's not as low as I wanted it to be. Struck down the right field line. And we got he lucky. Up and in with the fastball. He's going to rip that one into right. Desmond is right there, and that's out number two. Stephen Piscotty. Stephen Piscotty. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Okay, he's going to foul off that fastball. The change up. I'll let my third baseman pick that up. He would have been safe if I would have tried. Larte, though, gets it. We finally get a victory. And uh, we'll see what, what's next here. Kind of sad we only have six saves. But, all right, we'll bring it back for the next one. I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. A player's agent calls to touch base. All right, so they're calling to check in with me. He didn't get used at all the second half of that month. So I'm just uh, kind of curious as to what's going on. Um. Go do it. Anything you need from me at the moment? Maybe. Uh, tell me. I'd like to move on from the Rock or from Colorado if I could. I'd like to be made a full-time starter. We're I'm done playing this closer game. Player is not content with the way he's being used. May not be able to do a whole lot at the moment. General manager puts a lot of thought into these. I'm gonna go. So do I. Always looking for openings on your behalf, but until you become one of the their big stars or get traded, you may have to be patient. I'll work on them, though, and get back to you. Um, gonna be a star, then I'll make them make them pay big time. Get me traded. I don't want to get traded. Um, I'm just I'm gonna be a big star. Reiterate to them your long-term intentions. Just keep getting better, Oliver, and we'll get you everything you want eventually. All right. All right, so this isn't a game I wanted to get into. Uh, it's the, the first game of next month. But, you know, it simmed too fast, and I tried to hit the circle button in time to cancel it, and didn't work out so we'll go ahead and play it and then this is going to be the last step or last game for this episode so far we've had a pretty good month if we can get well we had a pretty good month last month see if we can start this month out right get a save
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the fastball. The wind up and the 0-1. Swing and a little tapper. I'm up in the zone with the fastball. The wind up and the 0-2. You can go sit down, Wong. Strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. All right, so Diaz. Ready for another shot, Aledmus Diaz. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's trying to get through it here. Fastball on the Fastball inside. On the inside. Look at strike one. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Another now fastball. And this is chopped That's the second strike, 0-2 count. We'll bring the fastball up. Didn't go up, but we're going to get him to pop up. I never know who's playing first for us. Oh. Okay, I'll take that. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. Maybe I should start paying more attention to the situation. Either way, we pick up the save, the team gets the win. And we'll bring you back. All right, we have a pretty perfect month. I think yeah, I can only remember giving up one hit, or maybe two. But we don't give up any runs. We take our ERA from low threes into the ones. Now we got to... This is where it's going to become a problem. We got to... Save ourselves here. Oh, no, definitely not that. We got left. 36. I don't think there's anything. Well, there's that. I can do that. 16. So all this other stuff we're just going to have to as we get points next month, fill it in. So that's probably what I'm going to do. There probably won't be. I mean, I'll probably show you. All these at the end of the episode, but there probably won't be any points to play with. Either way, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for coming hanging out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for a video a day. Um, I'm doing some random things throughout the channel. It's summertime, kids are home, it's hard to get time to do this. And make the, you know, a nice video. We're doing a lot of streaming over on Twitch, so... Come over and check that out. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Oodles.